Hey everyone, my name is Nigel Bajos and I'm back. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus for the past few weeks. I was getting married, but I'm back now and hopefully I'm going to be getting out at least one video a week. That's what I'm going to be aiming for. But today I am going to give you a hopefully quick review of this little piece of kit. This is a polarizing filter by Thai Photo. Now I've reviewed one of Thai Photo's products before, their variable ID filter. You can check that out right here. But today I'm gonna to be reviewing this polarizing filter and what this is gonna allow you to do is to cut out a lot of reflections in like windows and in water and it'll also give you like deeper blues in the sky. So I'm gonna take this out and put it through some tests and see how it performs. I'm mainly gonna see how well it actually cuts out the reflections and how much image detail we lose by putting this in front of our lens. So without further ado, let's go out and test this polarizing filter by Thai Photo. So for this test, I'm going to be demonstrating what a polarizer does as far as cutting out reflections when it comes to windows. Since I'm a filmmaker first and you know photographer second, I don't really shoot as much photos or see the need for a polarizer most of the time, but as a filmmaker, if you ever wanted to shoot a scene like this where someone's inside of a car or just behind a window, you wouldn't be able to see the person without a polarizing filter like this. So I'm gonna show you what it would look like if we didn't use this polarizing filter. Obviously you can still see some reflections, but let me show you what it would look like if we didn't have this filter on at all. It would look like this. And that's the beauty of a polarizing filter is that you probably can't even see me right now, but with a polarizing filter, it can just remove all the reflections and we can go from this to this. It's pretty crazy, yeah? So that's one of the cool things about having a polarizing filter is that when you find yourself in tricky situations like this, you can actually just get rid of the reflections and actually see through windows. So this would be the kind of situation that I'd probably use a polarizer for the most is in these tricky situations where you're trying to film through a window and you're getting a lot of glare. I know a lot of uh, music videos like to shoot shots of you know the artist inside the car and you're getting those bad reflections. This is the way that you would shoot that without getting a bunch of glare and reflections in your footage. All right, so in this example, I wanted to show you how you would use it when you're filming water. Now, this may not occur very much, but I know that, you know, me personally, I actually had a situation where I was filming some fly fishing and I didn't have a polarizing filter on my lens and it was really hard to see anything that was going on inside the water. So as I turn this polarizer filter, you can see that the reflections go away and you can more easily see the rocks under the water. I'm gonna go up a little closer and I'll give you a better example. All right, so in this example, you can kind of see that there is a lot of reflections coming off the water and you can't really see too much going on. But again, as I turn the polarizing filter, just a little bit, boom. You can see straight through all the reflections of the water and actually see what's going on under it. So again, if you're in a situation where you're filming water, say filming a fishing trip or something like that, and you wanna see what's going on, Having a polarizing filter like this is essential. Okay, so please forgive this next example. Sometimes it's really hard to find blue skies here in Oregon, but in this example, I wanted to show you how it can give you deeper blues in your skies. Right now, I am filming a little patch of blue sky just above the bridge, and as you can see when I turn the polarizing filter again, it gives us nice, deeper blues in our sky. And this is great if you're just filming outside and you wanna get those really nice, rich blues in the sky. Having a polarizing filter like this will really make that pop. All right, so in this test, I'm just gonna be doing a quick sharpness test. So right now I have the polarizing filter on and I'll zoom into my face digitally, of course. And this is the sharpness that you can expect from having this polarizing filter on. Now let's see how much sharper it gets when we take the filter off. All right, so again, this is with the polarizing filter off. This is just a straight lens. This maybe isn't the sharpest lens, but I just wanted to show you the difference in sharpness between having the polarizing filter on and then having it off. So yeah, that was my review on the polarizing filter by Thai Photo. I think that for the price, this is actually a pretty good piece of kit, especially if you're looking for a good polarizing filter. 
I would definitely recommend buying from Thai Photo. Those guys definitely make some really good products and I've been really happy with the variable ID that I've been using from them for a while now. And if you've just never known what a polarizing filter does and you're wondering how people, you know, cut out reflections in windows and, you know, get deeper blues in the sky, it's just by using this simple little device. So I'll have links to where you can buy this in the description below. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, it would be great to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. But until next time, I will see you all later. Bye.